I've had it with the little drummer boy, and I've got a special. That, this is for you, little drummer boy. Judgment Day is coming, son, and uh, I've got a special message from the heart that you're going to be forced to listen to. Little drummer boy, I'm tired of your inane music. I'm tired of the ridiculous lyrics. I'm tired of the Mary nodded, the ox and lamb kept time. Judgment Day's here, son. And you need to listen up. It's over. Pa-rumpa-pum-pum is the sound a 9mm Glock makes as it goes whizzing over people's heads right now. Pa-rumpa-pum-pum is a ridiculous lyric. The Ox and Lamb Kept Time is a ridiculous lyric. Mary Nodded is a ridiculous lyric. The idea that you would lie to baby Jesus and tell him that you have no gift to bring when you have your drum. Give him your drum, you wicked, evil, little, lying drummer boy. Give the baby Jesus your drum. Don't just stand there and say, I have no gift to bring. Don't play a little drummer boy tune on your drum. Take the drum, take the drumsticks, hand them to the baby Jesus, and let Mary go to the pawn shop and pawn that drum to buy Jesus a little pair of pajamas, to buy Jesus a nice little pair of diapers, to get Jesus some baby food, to get Jesus some formula. Don't stand there and say you have no gift to bring. Down through the years, we've heard this lie repeated over and over in department stores and in restaurants and in elevators and on Muzak and in our cars and in church musical productions. And we've had enough. Little drummer boy, it's time for you to go. Get out. Take your drum. Take your silly little song. Take your inane little lyrics. Take the annoying parumpa pum pum and get out of our lives now. This is your last Christmas. This is the last time we will allow you to annoy us and to keep playing that ridiculous little drum. Thank you, and good night. Ah, I feel better. I feel better. Well, the, well, the, the, the folks, folks, the men in the white, white coats, coats are here. That was a very disturbing... Uh, I, don't, I can't imagine what it was like to hear it, but you can't imagine what it was like to see it and to feel it, I'm less than two feet away from Jim, and it was disturbing. There's, I think there's medication for those kind of things. Were you beaten as a boy to the tune of Little Drummer Boy or something? What's, what in the world? Daniel? Jim, Jim, I just want to say on behalf of your daughter, Rachel, please, Daddy, don't get drunk this Christmas. Just go easy on the eggnog. Because I got to say, it's not... You seem to have a little bit of a mean streak in you. <laughs> Daniel, you've, you've, seen, you've, you've seen it, too. You've seen it, too. The, I mean, the thing is, it's not a lie, because he doesn't say he doesn't have any gift to give. He says he doesn't have a gift that's fit to give a king. So in his mind, his drum is not... That lame little parumpa pum pum was fit for the king? Je Jesus, well, that's all he could do. What that's else not, could if it's do? not fit for us, why should it be fit for the king? He did his best. I, did my, I played my best for you, yeah. Jim. Okay, Carl, I could, always, I could always, stand up right now and play the bagpipes, and it would be awful. That wouldn't be a gift fit for anybody. Well, and your righteousness is filthy rags, so, so what about that? Okay, we're getting personal here. All right, anyway, I, think, I don't think it quite merits the uh, psychotic reaction that we just experienced. That, that, was, that, was, that was intense. You know, if I was um, the drummer boy or the devil, I would be afraid of you. If I was the Virgin Mary, I'd be afraid. Come on. Okay, listen, I, I need to change my shirt because my shirt is caked with sweat now, and I need to wipe off the laptop because I was pouring spittle onto the laptop here. And uh, I'm going to take a few heart pills, and then we're going to come back for our next segment.